Chocolock is a carnival game in which players bet on one of the six numbers on a die. Three dice are then rolled. If the player's number appears on one, two, or three dice, they receive one, two, or three times their original stake, plus their own money back. Otherwise, they lose their original stake. What is the player's expected winnings on any single bet? This problem is taken from the book 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. Take a moment to pause the video and try it out for yourself. Alright, I hope you gave it a go. Let's look at the solution now. Let's start by taking an example. Let's say we bet a dollar on the number 6. Let's start by remembering the key formula for this question. Since we want to find the player's expected winnings, we want to remember the expected value formula, which in this case, since we have a discrete situation, is simply the sum of all possible values multiplied by the probability of all possible values. Let's try to enumerate out all of these possible situations. We know that in this situation, there are three dice. Therefore, we could get the situation where none of them roll a six, one of them rolls a six, two of them roll a six, or all three of them roll a six. For all of these situations, we can now individually work out the returns and the probability of the occurrence. The returns are simply given in the question as minus one, plus one, plus two, and plus three. Now that we have that, all that's left to do is working out the probabilities. Looking at the situation where we roll zero sixes, we know that this means that we must roll something that is not a six on all three of our dice. The probability of rolling not a six on any one dice is five sixths. Since all three of these dice are independent, the probability of rolling zero sixes on all three dice is simply five six multiplied by itself three times. Moving on, we compute the probability of rolling one six. Here, we know that for any given dice, the probability of rolling six is one by six. Now, we know that the other two dice have to roll not a six, so both of their probabilities must be five by six. However, this expression doesn't capture the entire probability of the situation, and this is a common mistake that trips people up. There are three possible ways that this can happen, because any one of those three dice could be the one that rolls the six. Therefore, we must multiply this expression by three. Similarly, we can work out the probability of rolling two sixes. Over here, two of the dice must be one by six, and one of the dice must be five by six. Again, since any of the three dice can be the dice that is not the six, we multiply the overall expression by three. Finally, we get the probability that we roll all three sixes, which is simply one sixths cubed. Let's now work to put all of this information together to find our expected value. We start by simplifying out the probabilities. Next, we can compute out the individual payoffs by each of the probabilities. Finally, we sum all of these numbers together to get that the expected value of any given turn in this game is negative 17 divided by 216. Putting that in decimal form, that's approximately minus 0.08, or a loss of 8 cents on a $1 bet. This may not sound like a large loss, but to try to contextualize it, let's look at it in relationship with the current US markets, for example. As of 2023, the risk-free rate on most US treasury bonds, you're getting about 5% over the course of a year. In this game, the carnival is getting 8%, nearly double the risk-free rate, in merely a minute instead of waiting for a year. This game has an amazing edge for the carnival, and it's a wonder that anyone goes up and tries to play it at all. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.